싫어 불러봐도 넌 아직 쓰러워 이젠 남은 설탕도 없는데 이제 와서 널 남겨두고 떠나갈 순 없어 떠나갈 밤이라면 먼저 보내주자 어차피 떠날 밤이라면 넌 너무 써 Hello and welcome to SketchUp for Layout. This is a kimbap building template which you can use to create a residential structure. Say for example, this is the lot, 2 meter setbacks except on one side, and a 4 meter setback in front. Say for example, our building footing starts with the middle and maybe the corner. Pressing V to move and Control to copy. Alt E Q W to flip if you have the preferences.dat. Ninety degree. Using the midpoint, look for blue and click. Make unique and try to reorient the column. Turn off X ray mode, and you see that this both are actually components. Shift C to hide, Shift V for the rest of the model. Now that we have our footing, G for group, put them under zero footing and they will be hidden once you are in scene 1. Say from here to here, make a copy and 3 divide, enter. Could also make this the first floor, so G to group, put it under number 1 for first floor. Make this the slab, so group Double click, maybe a 0.2 meter thickness. Put this group under S slab or structural slab and lay them out onto the first floor. Great. Cut, put them under floor number one. We could make floor number 2 by just copying it and putting it under 2. Click 2 on your keyboard. Maybe deleting this we don't need by pressing N for delete if you are using my shortcuts. You could try to add 2 more by copying using move or V, control and 2x. Put this under 3rd floor and 4th floor roof maybe we don't need much columns now if you click on one the first floor shows a section cut and all other floors are hidden same thing with two three and fourth floor that means when we start adding walls shift s we could actually concentrate on just designing Put this inside floor number one with X and paste. Control Shift V or paste in place. You can put this under architectural walls. Same way, you could try to copy that. 2x or 2 times. Control X to cut. 
Ctrl Shift V to paste in place, deselect, repeat the process. So using an extension called Drop GC, you could actually just press Shift D and the building will or the object would fall to the nearest plane. There's a kimbab door here which is actually dynamic. Say the size of this door is now 75. But now with the kimbap door, we could just scale it, let's say 1 meter, and notice how the door jams don't change sizes. Using the dynamic components tool, click on the door and see how it opens. Now the door is uh, layered into two things, the 2D object, 2D, and the 3D object or dash 3D. But when we go into our plan view, we have to hide the 3D object. First, let's try to put this inside the first floor and create an opening. Now when we go to our first floor, it looks like this. Click on the uh, weekly thing beside number one for orthographic projection. We don't need this 3D in the plan, so what we could do is turn off 3D and Shift 3 to update, or right click a scene and update. That means the next time we click on 1 for first floor, the 3D won't show and our plan would look like this. And when we go back to 3D, it's still back there. So this is plan view and 3D view. Same thing for our windows. Say we want our window to be a bit bigger. Let's try to put this within the wall. Right now it's around 2 meters. Let's try to stretch this. Say we want the wall plus 0.3. So the, wall, the opening now is 2.3. And then we want to extend this. Hit on scale, shortcut X, red scale, and click. Notice how the jams still stay the same. However, you might see a small gap on the windows. If you see that, just open and close the window again. There we have dynamic components. So it's up to you if you want them within the walls or outside the walls. So how is that? When we click on one, we have a plan view of doors and windows, columns and walls. Why is it that when I click on one, it does not go to top view? That's because under the scene tray, camera location is disabled. Now we can try to enable camera location. Go to top view, shift T, click on the tilde for orthographic view, shift Z to zoom to extents, and shift 3 to update or right click update so the next time we're on 3d and the client asks can you please throw me the first floor just say sure ma'am click on one and now you have the first floor we also have f for front elevation in our elevation we want to hide the footings so just go to your layers and disable footing shift z to zoom to extents and update let's say let's put a window here since I don't, uh, what people usually do is to tape measure and draw, or you can also use the 1000 bit, 1001 bit tool to cr to punch a hole like this. Create opening like that. But just by using the component, you could copy that window, place it over here, rotate 90, click. There. Now you see that slowly the building is starting to take shape. Let's create a scene. Shift 1. Rename this scene to S for structural. Select all the architectural and turn them off. Shift 3 update. 
we can only see our structural, which makes it easier to put stairs. Let's say beams. 0.40 and maybe maybe a bit rectangular beam two times group them put them under S beam it's a bit hard to see but once you get the gist of it you can use anything to inference since I can scale both ends I hold down control and scale them both ends. Shift E to explode. Select everything, delete coplanar edges, and it's a clean model. So that only this part would be the windows. And we could actually put them under layer, doors, and windows. You have to choose the workflow that works for you, and then make the software adjust to you. Here you go, front view, back view, left view, section cut, longitudinal section cut, detail 1, whatever view you want it, let's say here's detail 1, shift 3 to update, detail 2 along the railings, shift 3 to update, you can go to detail 1, detail 2. Another way to put an interior would be to bring out the camera tool. And using the position camera, go to top view, let's say in the first floor, click on position camera, click and drag to see the door and the window without actually having a section cut. Z to zoom out, shift 3 to update, Control shift F for the field of view, let's say 45, enter and then update. So now we have our interior one view and then you can start modeling your ceiling put them into the ceiling view. And we have another file called Kimbap Site. Now this is uh, made especially for rendering exteriors. Drag it over to Kimbap Site and place it there. Okay, but for now, like that, it's glitching now. Could try to make maybe a small elevation just for the site. View front with Enscape trees. Could set the angle. Shift 2 for two point perspective so that all vertical lines are straight. The view from the road, Shift 2 for two point perspective, and Shift 3 to update. You have a render. There you go. And that's the new template. Thanks for watching. Good night.